Morning, everybody. Today is Let's Mask With Me. And I hope that you've all got your masks ready. We did this a few weeks ago. Let me just clean the screen. And um, we saw some amazing masks and people told us about lots of masks that I didn't know. So it was all about sharing your masks with other people. So um, I'm going to put on today a few different masks. I thought I'd just kind of run the gauntlet but I'm going to start with Dr. Seabag's deep exfoliating mask and this is one that is going to take off any dead skin cells it's orange and I've used this probably for about since it came out it must be about 10 years old and it was always like when there was no other mask like this it was my go-to mask for looking nice for a sort of date or um you know just when I needed that skin to have that glow of wellness to it. It's got some alpha hydroxy acids in it. I think there's a bit of glycolic in it and a few different acids. And I think what's very good about this one, sorry, I don't want it to get on my hair. I just washed it today. Is that there is a sensitive version. I hope you're all getting on our song because I can't wait. We had so many boys last time. This is fantastic. So boys and girls. So Dr. Seabag Deep Exfoliating Mask. It will tingle a bit and that's the acids just working, um, which is good. I feel they're always then eating away at the dead skin cells that you haven't got um, off with any kind of uh, normal everyday acid exfoliation. If you have sensitive skin, they have one for sensitive skin, which is a deep exfoliating mask, sensitive skin, little bit less acid, does the trick. I'm going to leave this on for about 10 minutes and I've got about 20 more masks here for different categories that we're going to go through. Um, so um, there's, um, good morning everybody, how are you? I feel I haven't seen you since, um, God, Friday, took the weekend off. I hope you had a lovely weekend. It was Labor Day in America, if any of you are up, and I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Memorial Day, I'm sorry, not Labor Day, Memorial Day. Um, and in England, we had bank holiday. We seem to have many bank holidays in May, and I don't know about Europe. Hello from China, I don't know about China either. Um, so uh, get your masks on and let's do it. Now, when you use masks, it's really important your skin is very clean. Because if you kind of cleanse your skin with a balm and there's still a bit of that balm left off and you're using an enzyme mask or an exfoliating mask containing some acids, it will be harder to penetrate. So do try and use a kind of gel cleanser beforehand so that the skin is really clean. Because don't forget, masks, obviously, I'm sure you all know this, are not there to clean your skin. They're there to go inside with their lovely ingredients and give some um, exfoliation generally or hydration. Um, so I'm just going to start a few whilst you're building up and putting on your mask, please. And I will invite lots of you um, to tell you a little bit about when and how I use them. I probably do um, a mask twice a week. I love doing a sort of Sunday morning facial and I will do a mask depending on my skin and how it's behaving. So if I feel that I've been doing a lot of retinol and my skin's a little bit dry, although the retinol I'm using now, it's not, it's fantastic. Then I might do a hydration mask and my favorite bloody hydration mask still is Sizzly uh, Black Rose, which is prohibitive, but delicious. If you're on a budget and I finished it, um, it would be number seven's beautiful skin mask, which is lovely and it's just plumpy and lots of just f sort of Soviet sodium hyaluronate, just lots of lovely moisturizing elements. Another great mask, which is more that kind of creamy mask, is Jane Shrivener. And she has this de-stress mask. It's a sort of very calming mask. I think there's some, um, there's some lavender in it because... I don't know if it's lavender in this actually, but I just feel it's really soothing and lovely. And you put that on, I'm gonna put it on my hands like that, and leave it on for sort of 15 minutes and take it off. And she's a, she's a beautifully organic brand, very healthy. Um, I'm gonna do combination skin masks. Give me one second. Another mask I love is Exuviance. And they have an oxygenation bionic mask, which is a mask I used last time. And that one, when you put it on and you rub it in, it's, it's all blue goopy, but it just starts to oxygenate on your skin and it sort of bubble, not bubbles up, but you'll just notice the more you rub it in, da, 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 like that. And it would just start to change and 
become whiter and bubbly and that's sort of you activate the oxygenation elements when you rub it so i, I do love that um Another one on the expo more exfoliating is Evolve Beauty, and they have this lovely exfoliating mask. Um, they are a Herefordshire, UK company. I adore them. They have a fantastic gel cleanser. It's a weird smell. I think there's chocolate in there, but there's also some enzymes. So we could actually put that on somewhere else. Where can I put that on? I can't put that on now, um, but that's a really good cleansing mask. Um, Dermalogica, somebody's saying they love. Um, I think it's a great mask too. Uh, another hydrating mask is Josh Rosebrook, a beautiful brand um, started by a very uh, dedicated man um, who was not with a skincare background but loved great organic, fantastic skincare. And he started his own range and he really, he just thinks very carefully about it. I'm just going to put that on there. It's like, I don't know if you know May Lundstrom's Cocoon. It has a relationship with that. Um, you put it in, it becomes very balmy. It's a wonderful massage mask, actually. And I use that sometimes to massage into my skin. And I'll do continual movement. In fact, because I feel my neck's dry, I'm just going to put that one just on my neck. There. And it becomes a little bit oily once you apply it. Um, there. I'm just going to put that on. There. So I'm all masked up, all masked up and nowhere to go. Um, now, combination skin, I'm going to tell you a few and then I'm going to get you some of you in. Or no, let's get some people in first and then I'm going to go on. I've got six very good ones for combination skin. So let's see. Josh, sorry, I did it too quickly. Josh Rosebrook. He has hydration, the hydration um, mist, which I love is Josh Rosebrook. There he is. Take a screen grab. Claire Skin Softening Water. I love Claire's prep toning lotion. Here, the supple prep facial toner. I don't know if that's what you mean. I don't see that so much as a mask. Um, I'm using Medic 8 RE Retino 8 as my retinol and I'm absolutely loving. I cannot tell you how much I love it. I was looking at my pore size today. I think it's been reduced. I feel my skin is looking very smooth. It's fantastic. Um, let's get some of you in. Let's get some of you in and see what mask you're trying. And then I'm going to also, um, I'm going to also tell you some really good combination skin ones too. I've got Morat about to come in. Morat, are you coming, darling? Are you coming? Maybe he's just watching and he's not coming yet. So whilst I'm waiting for him to come, um, I'm going to talk to you about a really good one for um, combination skin, which is Aesop Blue Chamomile Facial Hydrating Mask. And I think what I like is even though it's hydrating, the ingredients are quite purifying. Purifying, there it is. Like that, can you see? Um, very good one. Um, no, I can't get Murat, he's not coming. So I'm going to somebody else now. Let me see who I can go to next. I'm gonna to go to Can Matu de la Cru. Can Matu de la Cru. Can Matu de la Cru. Oh no, declined. This is really, I'm, I'm having fun today, aren't I? Okay, I'm now gonna to go to Kathleen Stibbard. Kathleen Stibber, darling, I'm coming to you, and she's unable to join as well. Trini, no friends is all I can sell right now. I'll try Camilla Kristen Jensen and see what she's up to. There were lots of Trini tribers this weekend doing masking, which I loved. I saw some pictures at the weekend, and they were all trying different masks, um, and she declined as well. So I think lots of people are watching and don't realize that they... I'm going to try. Murat, I'm coming to you again. He's unable to join. Great. Great. All right. Come on, Maudie. Is it working? Um, my Sylvia, there she is. Mask for sensitive skin. I think that really I do. Maudie, are you there? Maudie? Oh, my word. I'm in bed, yes. Yeah. Hello, darling. You're in bed. That's all right that you're in bed. Where are you? In Australia? I'm in Australia, and yes. what time is it? it? My God, it's like 10 o'clock, 10.30 in the evening, is it? It is probably close to nine o'clock because I'm about to put my boy to bed. <laughs> oh, so sweet. <laughs> Darling, you haven't got a mask on. Did you want to share with us a really good mask find or were you just coming to say hi? I'm just coming in to say hi. I just love following you. Thank you, darling. Um, very nice to see you. You look very gorgeous at that angle. It's always the best angle for a phone, you know, when you're kind of like that. Um, it's a good one. I am. 
It's just here with the bedside light, but I've got nothing on my skin. You got great skin, really good. Oh, thank you, thank well, you darling, so much. I'm, I'm going to see if there's anyone there with a mask on because when we're doing this, um, I did it a few Mondays ago, and lots of people had masks on, so I'm trying to find the mask wearers. But I want to okay. say, lovely to meet you, and um, thank and, you, and um, don't want to wake up your boy either. No, dad is overseas, so he's just taking um, dad's spice over. Oh, so how old is he? He's um, 13 years old. Oh, so sweet. All right, darling. Yes. Have a lovely sleep. All right. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks, right, Jenny. Darling. See you. Bye. Bye, bye darling. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. So sweet. That little munchkin boy. Go and put a mask on, everybody. Come on. Okay, so. Um, other. Oh, yes. An Australian brand. Grown. Grown Alchemist. Very healthy, fabulous brand. This is deep cleaning, facial mask, wheat germ, ginkgo, and cranberry. Somebody asked about oats, but I love wheat germ, um, ginkgo, and cranberry. So this is like, you put it on like that. It's a thick paste. And you leave it on for about, I think you leave it on for 30 minutes. Smells, oh, smells so good. It smells so nurturing. I can smell a bit of almond and wheat germ. That's what I'm smelling, the wheat germ. And this is kind of detoxification which I like, but a little bit of hydration. So it's a combination. The Grown Alchemist, for those of you who want very, very non-toxic products, this range is super fabulous. Grown Alchemist, and they do ship to the UK. I think it's UK distributor. Um, all right, shall I try somebody else again? Goop Glow, I haven't tried. Um, I just don't know. Um, Goop Glow, yeah, I think... I can't remember what's in Goop Glow, but I haven't tried it. Um, yes, let me just, hello, darling. So you're watching from Australia. Good morning, good morning to you. Good evening to Australia. It's actually night, night, booth, cockapoo, night, night. Um, you're in bed watching from Australia. You've used the Charlotte Tilbury and you thought it wasn't great. You know, the dry sheet mask I love, the clay mask isn't for me because I've got, I haven't got uh, oily skin. Trini, did you see my message on Friday retwinning? She would love to make you both one of her prairie dresses. That sounds so sweet. I just, I think that, for me, Friday twinning, I love to use different um, people, but, and I love to use smaller brands, but it also has to slightly be available for people to buy. So, um, so I'll look at your DM. I don't get through all the DMs because I have a few thousand, but I kind of try and go through them every so often. Um, Marina, could you do a video begging to end daily routine for beginners on a budget? Look at my Instagram from Thursday. I did three beauty routines for a budget. Really simple routines, easy to understand. Products were like the whole routine was under 50 pounds. So have a look and it's there um, on my main feed. Um, okay, I'm gonna try and get some people in now. Are we ready? You're ready. Okay, who's saying I'm ready? One second, so I'm ready. I'm ready. Shit, I've lost it now, haven't I? Okay, no, it's gone now. It's gone now. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me just try and go again. Let me see. Are you ready to come in? Now, Elaine Powell, I'm gonna try and come to you, Elaine. Let's get some people up now, shall we? Elaine. And in the meantime, I might take this off. Elaine, hello, darling. You're slightly freezing. Rose petal powder, I haven't tried. Hello, Elaine. Oh, she left. You know what, she didn't expect me to come. Okay, well-being and style. I'm going to just try and get you up. Well-being and style. Let's get you in. Let's get you in. In the meantime, have I been about 10 minutes? Can I take off this one uh, from Doxy Bag? Hello, darling. Hi. It's How me are you? Again. Where are you? In Nottingham. In Nottingham. Fantastic. What's your name? Aisha. Aisha, so nice to meet you, Aisha. You've got glowy skin, darling. Do Thank you have a mask you want to share with us? Um, I make my own mask up. Oh my God, I love that. Tell us your recipe. So, have you tried honey? Just this, on its own? Um, I, I, honey sometimes with a bit of um, oats in there. And just rub it all in. And then sometimes, um, this sounds absolutely rank, but you should so try eating turmeric and honey um, for your skin and you'll get a beautiful glow. Oh, you know turmeric. I remember yeah. turmeric from, 
I saw a sort of shaman when I had very bad acne. Yeah. And he was, he was really an Ayurvedic shaman. Okay. And he came to England and he was like this, you know, I was desperate to deal my acne. So he gave me this turmeric powder with something else, but something weird, I shall like some animal thing. Mm -hmm. So I remember I had, to, I had to put it all together, put it on my face. And I remember I'd walk around and my mother would go, I can smell you coming down the corridor. But I remember turmeric was so good because turmeric is so good for inflammation. So that sounds mm. delicious. What kind of honey do you use? I have, um, I forget what it's called, man manuka, manuka. Manuka honey, which is yes, lovely. Yes. Yeah. What percentage um, I've literally got get? a tiny bit left. Um, yeah. If I run upstairs, it'll be taking time to show you. But um, I've had it for years. And, and where do you get your turmeric stuff. from? Is it like your spice you use and do you just pour a yeah, bit out? Yeah, it's part of, um, my mum's always put turmeric in everything we eat. So yep. I've just carried that on. Yep. And um, I always have a full bottle. I also take turmeric pills yep. every now and then to immune yep. boost. And yep. um, I don't know, it's just part of my diet. And I, I definitely feel um, it helps my skin. Yeah, that's so good. And you've got probably a slightly oily skin. You look like you've got yeah. the best skin, thick, oilier skin. But it yeah. does mean you want to be kind of taking out anything that might be beginning to block a pore or make a pore bigger. So mm. really great. And do you, can I ask you, do you find it, it um, stains your skin a bit or not? Turmeric. Yeah. Does it make um, it a bit yellow afterwards or not? Make sure you've got a dark face cloth. To yeah. take it all off. <laughs> so don't, don't use your white towels. Um, yeah, that's true. I do make a bit of a mess, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. But, um, it's worth it. I've not got any turmeric. I've not put any turmeric on for a while, but um, yeah. it, it does make me feel nice and glowy after. Fantastic. That's so great. Your skin is lovely, darling. So mm, lovely. Thank you. Um, thank so you. that's, I think it's very nice because if somebody's on a budget, everyone yeah. in their house might have honey and they can get turmeric. So it's really good. And I think it's especially good recipe if you have a normal or normal combination skin so so nice to meet you darling are you all right you. during lockdown yes i've um i coach pilates so i'm still in my gym kit oh, good girl. <laughs> yeah do you do online pilates classes yes yeah i've been watching you do yours as well i'm super impressed oh i tell you i'm just trying to get strong you know because i think yeah. it's about that i've done i first learned pilates with is it joseph pilates he yes. was the guy in New York and with his, so his pupil. And I learned it with this oh, guy right. called Abby in 1983 in London. Wow. And he had learned from New York and he was a fabulous um, Pilates teacher. He died of AIDS, unfortunately, he, mm -hmm. um, a few years later. But he was incredible and he had the whole full, you know, like that four poster bed thing. And, and then I was in my 20s and I did all these incredible things with Pilates. You know, I was that person literally holding myself up by my fingertip wow. um, so now it's just about you know letting the letting my body do the most it can do but not pushing it too much mm. well yeah, you do it, you do amazing i'm super impressed with how every morning you just get up and get on with it oh done. we, we kind of got to but you know what mm. if, if people want to follow you what's your instagram if they want to follow your classes well-being and style well-being and style and do you and offer them just, free or do it's you get only you five pay? pounds five pounds a group uh, lesson and um, i never make any group any more than six per, uh, six per class uh-huh great good darling well if anyone wants to do pilates here she is oh bless you thank very you very nice to meet you Aisha. and you take care take care darling all bye. right bye. Bye. bye 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 darling bye bye that's so great doing it from home getting on with it you know getting on with it. Natasha, hello, my darling, how are you? We're now going to see anyone else got a mask. I'm the only bloody person this morning with a mask on. I'm so depressed by this. Christine, are you going to have a mask on? Is anyone else going to have a mask on? Um, let's see, hang on, let's find one. I, by the way, I just put on the um, Sizzly one, which I love. Um, and that's the kind of my, my sort of precious one that I put on and then I wipe off the excess. So it's a nurturing, hydrating moth. Hello, my <laughs> darling. How are you? Hello, Trini. Hello. Are you in Australia too, Christine? I am in bed in Australia. I got lots of women just about to go to sleep with me. And I just went running to find a mask and I didn't have any in my bathroom. If oh. I had one still, I would have one on. But I do love a clay mask. A clay mask, darling. And do you have a slightly normal combination skin? 
uh, a, a little bit oily, but pretty normal, yeah. Pretty normal. And what's your favorite clay, clay mask you want to share with us? Oh, do you know, one of my, my brother-in-law is a professor of dermatology. Oh, yes. Um, and um, for years, he has put me onto a brand called QV in Australia that's actually um, a very basic, simple, no flash marketing, no flash yep. packaging. Um, but I tend to use that. I also love a bit of Clarins. Yeah. yeah. So QV is at the letter Q and then V. It is, yeah. Okay. And yep. is it natural? Is it quite chemical? Is it... No, it's know, quite, it, uh, it has some chemical, but it's pretty natural. It actually originated in the Queen Victoria Hospital you know however years many ago. years ago yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 i mean everything really is a chemical you know even organic brands, it's yeah. chemical compounds that make things we know that but i feel you know does it have lots of yeah so that's it's good got, it doesn't have a lot of added scent and 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 all those kind of things fantastic yeah. good to know because i think it's great to find brands that are no nonsense get on with the job and you're not buying into all the packaging and all that absolutely you know, yeah yeah. So that's and lovely. I believe I'm chatting with my style icon lying in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best thing to do, for God's sakes. I just, you know, I um, I feel I've got up today because did you have a holiday yesterday in Australia? Uh, no, no. Well, no, no. Yeah. So, so we've got a holiday uh, we had yesterday. So I think a lot of people did that kind Bank of masking stuff. Monday. Bank Holiday Monday, it's so many in May, it's unbelievable. But I'm going to go and find somebody with a bloody mask on now, darling, because I'm just so disappointed. And last time Thanks, I did this, Trini. we had 10 boys with masks on, and they were fabulous. So are there any boys out there with a mask on? Okay, all right, darling, I'm going to find them. Thanks, so nice Trini. to chat to you. You too, bye. All right, take care. Bye. Oh, I mean, am I going to get that? I'm going to start putting makeup on in a minute. Okay. All right, now this Murat man is still there, but he's not wanting to come on. So I'm going to now try. Elena, are you there? Elena, are you there? What other masks have I? Oh, I've got a very good mask I want to show you whilst we're here. So, um, Exuviance, this is a deep sort of detox mask. I love this mask if you kind of got like blackheads, whatever, but it's got activated charcoal, clay and um, this kind of neoglucamine, but it's like good for spots. Smelly, charcoal-y, black, like this. Really, really good um, there, if you're kind of spotty, oily. I think that's a fantastic mask. Um, just remind people how to join, they don't know how. Okay, Blue-Eyed Birdie, if you want to join, you just have to request to be in my live. Um, and the way you do that is you'll see on the screen, you have one, Nitz. So let's just see. Go live with Nitz. I'm going live with you, Nitz. I'm going live with you, darling. So you should get a little notification. Uh, in fact, I think I just come straight through with you. Nick, come on, Nick. Show us your face. Show us your mask, Nick. Can I... Darling, you got a mask on? I do. Where? <laughs> Which one? I can't see it. Well, it's not truly a mask. It's vitamin C paste. Uh, oh. Lixia... oh, I mean, how good is that product? Put your face to the window, darling. Put your put your phone in front of the window. No, put your phone in front of the window and you like... face the window. Yes. Now we see your skin. You've got good skin. Let me come up close. So, I mean, vitamin C, how often do you use it? Because this is a wonderful mask. I wish I had it here to show people. Do you have it there to show people? I can bring it in a, in a moment. Yeah, I do have it. Yeah. Well, I'll just tell people, Lixia is this brand, the woman who, the formulator, Nick, did also Ren. Yeah, she's called, Ren. I think it's called Christina. I can't remember. I met her once. But I love that vitamin C paste because I think it gives you the glow. Do you sort yeah. of massage it in when it's on your face, darling? That's what, that's my cabin, by the way. Oh, look at you. I like this order. Oh, my goodness. You've got Josh Rosebrook. You've got Lixia. You've got The Ordinary. You've got Aesop. You've got Tata Harper. You've got, got Sarah Chapman. I mean, all the money is going on skincare, right? They are. Here we go. There it is. We want to see the rest of that, but that was very nice, darling. What do you want, Lally? Bunny? Do a canvas bag. Canvas bag. One second, darling. Um, yeah. Canvas bag. Look up in there. Um, uh, both of them inside the other bag. So, Nick, what's your general skincare routine? Because you look like you're a man on a mission. 
So I start with uh, cleansing. Um, simple cleansing in the morning, but double cleanse and, uh, at night just because I use SPF as well. I use it yeah. pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> and I, um, I double cleanse with a northern cleanse and then a gel or a milk one. I yeah. use uh, the biologic uh, the, oh. the gel too. Yeah. Uh, I don't like foaming gel. It's dry. Yeah. Then I use a toner. Normally, it's something that is in, with active ingredients toner. Um, yeah, like a little bit of some AHAs. Okay. A little bit. Yeah. Of, okay. Yeah. And then I do a two ferulic cuticles for yeah. vitamin C. Yeah. Uh, I do. And I, I just want to tell because Nick, your reception's bad. So what Nick's saying is he does two cleansers in the morning. So you might do Sarah Chapman. Then you'll do a gel cleanser. You don't do a foaming cleanser because it makes your skin too dry. Then you do a little exfoliating acid, but gentle acid is probably not glycolic or salicylic, more mandelic or malic. malic. Then you're doing a CE ferulic vitamin C. I mean, Nick, you are on one. What do you do, darling, after your vitamin C? So then I do an eye cream. I normally do a cream in the morning. At night, I do a gel, uh, eye, uh, eye gel, uh, because I find if I use a cream at night, just get that puffiness in the morning when you yeah. wake up during the day it's fine i do i do start up my, uh, recovery eye recovery yeah uh, as, a, as a cream i do have dennis cross sos as yeah. well yeah uh, and then i do so then i do a, a zealand normally as a as a well no, sorry before that i do um Hyaluronic. So I might do B5 skin cuticles, yeah. or I might do triple hyaluronic from Beauty Yeah. Uh, and then I do the moisturizer, which is normally either Zelen, Charlotte Tilbury, or any any of that. Yeah. Then I put my um, Leo Care or Trini, depending on you know, you know if you're going to the sand yeah. long. So, yeah. Do you use Trini London BFF? Yeah. 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 Yes. Great. Yeah. I, I mean, it's Nick. It sounds like a great routine, and just for people. They were wanting to check what you actually... Can you put the Lixir up again, Nick? Yeah. Just to show them, because they didn't catch that. Um, just to show it. You can put it up in front of you, too. Fant oh, look how organized Nick is. Vitamin C paste from yeah. Lixir. It's a really good... I think it's... Is it 28 or 30-something pounds? But it's so lovely. Um, yeah. And then retinoin. Right? So I do... Um... Tretinoin, that's it. Like a tretinoin in the hyaluronic and a moisturizer at night. Simple. Yeah. Can yeah. I make a suggestion to you? So in my new ev evolution of retinol, because I've used retinol probably for like 35 years or something crazy. I was just working it out the other day. But um, I started now, I do the Medicaid. So, you know, and then every fourth night I do tretinoin, but I do 0.1%, so it's quite strong. But over it... I'm putting the Medicaid peptides. Okay. I'm so excited by peptides. I mean, I want to do a whole deep dive on peptides because I feel they're just that, you know, there's certain ingredients that go in and they're channels or they're rebuilders, you know, like copper amino isolate creates channels for other products. Peptides, they're these rebuilders. And I want to understand them better. So I'm loving that combination more than a hyaluronic after my retinol. I just think, you know, I'm funny. I don't know if you follow me for a while, Nick. I'm funny about hyaluronic. Sometimes I yeah, I know. I know. I follow you a lot. Yeah. Because it's a, I haven't used them yet. I haven't tried them yet. But I do. I'm, I'm about to. And I do microneedling at home every now and then as well. Yeah. Great. Like, twice per week. Or Nick, you're a poster boy of a good skin because I can see your skin has life. It's got wonderful oxygenation. You know, really amazing. I'm so happy to share your skincare routine and hear about it. And just for other people watching to just know, you know, what care you take and what your routine is. And I think that a lot of people are at, you know, they're following in their really early stage of not knowing what a routine should even be. Yeah. and not understanding what to do first. So for those of you watching, still thinking, what do I do? You know, you and I both agree, clean your skin yeah. with a balm if you want to, because it's lovely, but you end your skin cleaning with a gel because you need to clean out the pore fully. You don't want to film. 
And then you're going to put in all these lovely nurturing things from an exfoliating acetona or a vitamin C or whatever it might be. And you need to have your pore clean to absorb it. And then you're going to put in, you know, a barrier, SPF, whatever. But Nick, so nice to talk to you. Yeah, likewise. Lovely. All right, <laughs> darling. Bye. Bye-bye, well, Nick. So lovely. I mean, just inspiring. I'm going to take now the residue of this mask off, um, which is the um, the um, sizzly one, which is my sort of treat when I want to give hydration to my skin. But what I've got to say is just to, and also, oh, I had some on my neck, didn't I? Is I want to say since, I'm just going to show you up close and personal, even though my skin is now a little bit red. But since I've been really doing my, this new retinol, I think the biggest difference I notice in my skin when I wake up in the morning is that the size of my pores here is reducing and the evenness of my skin and the bounce in my skin, I'm really noticing. And that's also because I'm using a couple of other things. I'm just going to share with you a few more little tools that I've been using once a week. Where are we now? <laughs> I have this drawer of tools. But this bloody newer thing is good. This is um, radio frequency. So you, you have a gel that activates it, activates it, and then you press, and then it uses the gel activation, which I haven't got on at the moment. But you go round and round, and it will heat up using that gel as a conductor. And it sort of heats up, stimulates collagen. Newer. Really interesting. If you're somebody, you already do perhaps a... You might do a... Um, you know, a new face or a face gym pro or something. This is my newest add-on and I love it. Um, and obviously the light salon I adore, but when I can't have my hair covered or when I've just, you know, there's occasions, like there was something the other day where I just couldn't um, use the, the radio piece. So I have this. Now this I wasn't sure about at the beginning um, because it's called light stim, light stim. But it has a very concentrated amount of LED light. So LED light in another way will stimulate. And um, I probably, I think LED light is a thing that I've introduced in my skincare routine that I do at home for the last two years. And I just feel the glow in my skin. So if I do this, the problem with this is you have to do like four minutes here and then you move it four minutes. But if I'm not being able to put the mask on, there was some, oh, I know when I was dyeing my eyebrows and I had to wait 10 minutes or my eyelashes, I use this. There's very occasion, so I do. What do you want, darling? Mascara. You want the mascara, which one? The Kevin O'Connor. The Kevin O'Connor mascara. Sorry, Lila's here. Say hi. Hi. Hi, there she is. Um, Kevin O'Connor mascara, darling, where is it? I know, I was using it, but you had one too, didn't you? You took mine. I took yours, oh dear. I took yours, bunny. Um, oh, can you use one of that? <clears throat> Go on. Um, so, any other questions whilst we're here? Um, and then I'm going to start getting ready for the day. Hello. You use a clay. So Arthur, I use a clay enzyme mask by Jan Barber, natural polish brand. Really impressive. Sounds fantastic. Anyone else like to come in? Blue eyed birdie, booth cockapoo, all saying hello. Um, are you going to list the products at the end of the live? What I'll do is I will, yes, I'll try and list all the products. Um, I, if I have the Dermalux, why do I need the light salon, etc.? Is that not the best? Um, what? There you are. It's, um, it's the light salon I adore. Dermalux is slightly kind of not totally working. Um, and so I just want to get my hands on lots of LED. So I just have a few different ones. Um, mask for combination skin very quickly. Dr. Seabag, skin perfecting mask, really good. Clay-based mask, very good for getting out the stuff. God, that's so nice. Which one? Mm. Number one, you like it? Yeah, I like it. Oh, she does. Lila now loves something new. Um, the Azubians for combination. For Trini London products. Oh, I have five minutes. For Trini London products, we ship worldwide the lovely lady in Brazil. Um, so, uh, mask for pore reduction, sensitive skin. You know, pore reduction is also about using an acid on your skin. And when you have a sensitive skin, <gasps> Can I just say what's happening? I want, I, I, sorry, this is far more important. Any of you out there feel you have sensitive skin? All right, I have lots of people who say, what can I use on my sensitive skin? 
tonight, and I'm going to check it's tonight, because this is really exciting. Um, I'm going to have a conversation with Julia Hunter, because she believes, it's not tonight, it's, yes it is, six o'clock live. Julia believes you can cure sensitive skin, cure. Now that's very controversial, but her thought process is if you suffer from rosacea, from eczema from all these skin conditions so much of that is an internal problem which is coming out on your skin so she's going to talk to us about what you can do internally so that you can actually wake up one day and say i'm not having to look at all products with i have sensitive skin i can only use this much so i find that fascinating i'm going to challenge her on everything because you know what i'm like but i'm so interested to have this conversation with her so if any of you have sensitive skin and you're thinking I'd love to know what I can do. Watch tonight, six o'clock. Sorry, I'm just trying to find. Lila, do you have my BFF? Oh, I got it, thank you. Um, sorry. Um, in, Environ, please. I love Environ. I used Environ. Um, and I used it actually for about nine months, just Environ. I started with Environ, you go up in serums, depending on, it's like Medicaid in a way. Once you get used to a certain serum, you go like from two to three to four to five, the ones in the bright blue. So I love those serums. The cleanser and stuff, you know, the best things to me in Environ were the serums, actually. Um, yeah, that's my thought. Just putting on SPF. I'm going to take Lila out with a dog and need SPF 30 today for sure. I'm going to do, um, I'm doing four pumps there. Really rubbing it in. Uh, I did my hair this morning. It's slightly far a faucet, but I'm using those Eel France. I mean, Eel formula. Can I just say that they are unbelievable when you want to kind of softly get your hair. I want to get to a stage where I can actually just use their products and do this with my hair and let it dry naturally and not use any blow dryer it would be incredible so I'm trying to get back its natural curl because I blow dried it for so long that the curl sort of went out of it and it just went to frizz but you know it is possible to train your hair back back to advice enlarge pores, etc I'm sorry I'm not on track all right enlarged pores are slightly aggravated pores they're slightly you know they need cleaning they need to reduce Acid toners, I think, do that better than anything else. So a mask will do it as a fix. But if you introduce into your skincare routine every day an acid toner, that is going to help consistently to reduce your pore size. So that's where you want to head. And there's many different ones. I did my, my um, Fab Four exfoliating toners, which is about two weeks ago on my Instagram main feed. I've also done a Secret 7 exfoliating toner, so you can look at them. Um, so, yes, um, drunk elephant vitamin C. I'm, I think there's better ones out there. Um, it's not my favorite. I also find the consistency really oily. So I kind of prefer either SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic or Garden of Wisdom um, Deep Sea or their vitamin C. I haven't got on with drunk elephant one, to be honest. Um, rainbows are still there. I'm just, uh, I've just changed around. So they're all still there. We could now have this view, couldn't we? And you can see the rainbows. Um, so I'm just doing, because I'm doing soon. Oh, what color am I doing for closet confessions? You might wonder. Everyone can wear yellow. You just need to find your yellow. That's going to be our topic in two weeks time. Now I'm wearing orange. So I'm tempted to wear mama because mama is a ready orange. So as I'm wearing this gray today, I'm just going to do oh, instant joy. And on a sunny day, it's that kind of warm red and on my cheeks too. And it just changes immediately your wellness factor. And especially when you wear a color like this dove gray, it's a little bit washing out. So there you have, you see, look, look at that, immediately did something. You just received your BFFI after years of searching for something for dark circles. For a guy who does not wear makeup, I was so relieved 
to have found something so easy to use. I'm so happy you feel that because I'm funny about eye creams. Like, I love what Nick was saying. He talks a lot though about eye creams and I just feel I want to do it all in one. That's why I invented BFFI. I wanted an eye cream to have a baby with a concealer and deliver something. So um, that's what I did. I'm going to do a little bit today now. I'm going to do a little bit of Miracle Blur because when you do that many pumps of... BFF, you can feel a little bit too shiny. So I'm just going to go here and just put on some Miracle Blur. If you've got large pores, can I just say Miracle Blur is also your bloody savior? Because let's say you're in large pores are here. You can put Miracle Blur on and it just softens everything. It's fantastic. So big pores, scars, acne scars, lines. It just softens the lot. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of eyebrow and I'm going to do today, as I always do. I'll find some more to try. I'm doing a little Bobby Brown. I don't know how many of you watch my eye tint and my eyebrow tint. It has lasted probably about five days. I use a lot of exfoliating products. So, you know, it does make them come off quickly. BFFI on a tube, mm, all things, you know, we listen to customers and we're doing lots of things that will come out over the next year. Um, are you ready, Lila? Can we, I've got four more minutes before we have to go. Yes, I have. All right, darling. You be downstairs. Okay. Carola, yes. Carola Wild from Argentina. Hello, darling. How are you? Um, Deborah, yes. My hair routine. Um, I'll show you what I'm using because these are incredible products. But only for certain types of hair. So... This is what occurred this morning, okay? This is what occurred this morning. Washed my hair. I used, um, I, I tinted my hair this morning. I do it every two weeks. And then I used Redkin's um, blue shampoo, very strong, as you can see, my fingers don't have it on, to take out any redness. And what it's done, which is amazing, is even though I'm putting on hair tint, um, I still get little lights coming through. And I think a bit of that is the fact that I'm using this blue shampoo and conditioner to get out the oranginess, which, which my hair has a real tendency to pump orange. Um, then I put on a ton of Eels formula. I got some little pharmacy in, um, I think I get it, Beach and Place, but it was expensive, all right? It's like 32 pounds, Curl Revive quite a lot on, put it in like this. But unlike Avida's Be Curly, unlike John Frieda's uh, cocktail thing, all things I used to love, this supersedes it by a fucking, excuse me, squillion miles. This, the, um, the moisturizing finishing serum, I then put on everywhere. So my hair, and then I start just doing that, okay? Like that, and then I use a diffuser. Um, and just kind of blow dry, I mean, not uh, blow, but just put it in like this. I have done a thing on it. And then the very end, I'll take this and maybe do a couple of things just because otherwise it'd be frizzy here. And then it lasts a week, a week. I lost it last Tuesday. And then what I do is I, on day sort of three or four, like on, on Friday or Saturday, I took the the finishing serum and a bit of the curl and I put it in my fingers and I just did that. The smell is so divine and it brought it back to life. So it's very exciting. So I do want to see, can I get to a stage like my next thing? And I don't know if I'll do this, but I'm going to really try and do this is I'm going to use these two and not use the active, not use the diffuser and just do that and see what happens. This did take a little work at the end, you know, so I don't know if I could train my hair to be, wonderful curliness because because when i was blow drying my hair every two days it was very dry it's got less dry because i'm doing one i can never get susanna susanna very proudly my darling Susanna said how she hasn't literally washed her hair since we went into staying at home and i'm just like i, could, I couldn't do it couldn't quite do it don't know about you how often are you all washing your hair tell me really um because i'd love to know if it's if it's the same as susanna um Yours has come in less than a week. Oh, that's fantastic. Your know, olive skin with yellow undertone cannot wear yellow. Now, I disagree. I think everyone can wear 
yellow because yellow goes from neon to mustard. And when you have yellow tone in your skin, I love mustard. But I'm going to go through all of that and, and chat it through and let you know. Um, you wash it every two days, every day, every other day. I mean, certain people, if they have a hair that is, um, you know, slightly straighter and maybe a little bit flatter, you feel you want to get the body back and, and washing your hair gives you that body back. So I totally get that. With me, I um, want to get the frizz down. So in a way, the less I wash it, the more it will become textured as opposed to frizzy. So yeah, I'm naturally curly and you wash it twice a week, once a week. I think it depends on hair type, doesn't it? But it's interesting, how much effort are we making? You know, I think it's still so important whilst we're staying at home to make an effort to think what skincare routine would I like to have to be inspired to watch things. If you're thinking what skincare routine shall I do or what do I add into my routine? Look at my fad four every Sunday for the last few weeks because I just go into cleansers and toners and exfoliating acids and granular um, exfoliators and vitamin C's. And I give you a, an expensive one, mid expensive and some super duper mad thing. So it will be helpful to you. And if you want any other skincare information also, you can go to my YouTube channel or to trinilondon.com forward slash blog forward slash skincare where there's 24 secret sevens which are seven in each category of things i love and they always include something which is also organic um oh i love this about the hair i have thick hair so i don't wash the hair every three to four days my scalp gets itchy and the roots grow. See, that's true too 38 weeks and love the feeling of warm water on my head but keeping myself to three times a week yes i don't use dry shampoo often but i've used it once or twice and when I use it, I generally use um, either, probably my favorite one is the Way Dry Shampoo Foam. And some people might remember a video I did with that. Anyway, ladies, I better go. I've got to go and take the dog out and get something to eat. Before and Lila's just called me. Lila, so I better go.